When did you get the news and how was it delivered? Uh, really, you know, just this morning. Uh, and then, you know, you're always preparing to be the starter. And, uh, you know, they said, hey, we're going to go with you. And, uh, you know, just ready to go. Did Justin let you know <laughs> the news might be coming? Did he text you? Or? Uh, yeah, didn't really hear much from Justin, though. Offense and running this offense Sunday. Extremely confident. You know, I'm excited. Uh, you know, it's it's been a little bit, and uh, it should be great to get out there with the guys and, and play some football, have some fun. How difficult was it to see what happened Monday night, especially given um, I don't know how well you know him or not. Yeah, uh, you know, he was a teammate of mine. He's a freshman when I was there as a senior. Um, you know, I just talked to him two weeks ago when we played him after the game. Uh, so it was, you know, extremely just sobering and, and crazy to see. You know, my wife and I were watching it live and, uh, you know, just uh, really felt for him, um, felt for everybody that was involved and um, praying for him a bunch, uh, you know, constantly just thinking about him, praying for him, praying for his family um, and, and going to keep hoping he pulls through. I imagine at some point you have to just turn off the part of your brain that says, I could get really hurt doing this. Is that harder this week than it usually is? You know, I'm sure every every player, you know, that saw that uh, had some thoughts that, hey, these are the risks. You know, it was kind of a, a wake up call to that again. Um, but again, we we do all kind of know that, and uh, you, you're going out there, you're putting your body on the line for, you know, your dreams, uh, for your family that you're trying to provide for, and um, you know, you, you you do know the risks at the end of the day. Do you think the games? Do you think the games should be played this week in light of what happened? Yeah, I mean, I, it's not up to me, obviously, but it's our job. It's it's uh, a lot of guys' dreams here. It's it's again extremely sobering to the the reality and the fact of of uh, the sport we play. Um, but that's yeah, obviously not up to me. You guys talked about it in a team meeting. Just what were the, what have the conversations been like with coaches with teammates about? It? Yeah, I think it was good. It, there was some, uh, a lot of good things said. You know, we, we got some great uh, veterans, great leaders on this team, um, guys that, that are feeling some real things. Uh, and I think they, you know, were real about those things. Uh, you know, they, they told us um, just to, to get the help you need, basically, uh, especially from an emotional standpoint, a mental health standpoint. Um, and then, you know, we just uh, got to go on from that. I just went up to him. I said, hey, man, uh, great to see you're doing well. You know, I was proud of him. Um, him and Dane Jackson both, you know, pick guys there. And, um, very close together. You know, that was the crazy part, just, you know, seeing. I think, you know, just watching the replay, he falls down, and Dane is sprinting right after him, you know, right away. And um, so, yeah, man, it was, it was just uh, crazy. Told him I was uh, happy for him, proud of him. And, again, I'm, I'm praying he pulls through. Uh, I try not to think about all the outside stuff and what other people think. I mean, um, you know, I'm very focused on on uh, going out there, playing great, and winning a football game, and uh, that, that's all you can do every time you go out there. So I'm excited, um, but yeah, I try not to listen to the outside noise too much. Uh, there's different things like this all the time. You know, in the NFL, sometimes you walk through and stuff. Uh, you know, I've, I've gotten to practice all year, um, so uh, I'm sure we'll get some full speed stuff at, at some point, but, um, you know, it's just uh, part of your job. When you guys were, when you guys were in New York, uh, how, long, or, how long was the moment that you thought that you might be starting uh, during that hour leading up to uh, it was a crazy time. I, I, I don't really want to go into it too much, but um, yeah, a lot of crazy stuff that day. Personally, to have an opportunity to go out there, what's, what's it mean to you just given the, you know, kind of what you've been through the last couple of years? Yeah, uh, it's an awesome opportunity. You know, it's, it's been a few years, so, um, you know, still gotten to play a lot of football in preseason or whatnot, but obviously regular season games is an amazing opportunity, and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. It's been a lot of hard work put into this season, and, 
Um, a lot of ups and downs, obviously, but uh, to go out on a great note, have some fun, and just go out and play football is, is going to be a good, a good thing. Excited for it. You've seen Josh Allen and, and, jo and Justin Fields at similar stages of their development. I know people like to compare quarterbacks, but, but they're both highly regarded guys. What have you seen from Justin that even if it does, whether or not it compares to Josh Allen as a trajectory, what have you seen that's been most notable that, that you think really is an indicator that that kid's good, he's going to make it? Um, you know, I think just uh, playmaking ability is, is obviously, yeah, you can't argue with, with that, you know, and so when you see those things and um, him go out there and, and rip off these crazy runs and, uh, you know, make some guys miss and then hit a guy downfield, it's, it's impressive. So, um, yeah, rooting for him going forward.